What's up, bullish friends? Hope you guys are doing well out there today. And look at this story. Europe's first spot Bitcoin ETF list in Amsterdam. Okay, let's take a look at this. So this actually came out yesterday. This is on Coindesk.com. And uh, the Jacoby FT Wilshire Bitcoin ETF is regulated by the Guernsey Financial Services Commission, or the GFSC, and will trade under the ticker Bcoin, B. C O I N. The listing means Europe will see a spot Bitcoin ETF traded before the US, despite dozens of applications to the Securities and Exchange Commissions in the last few years. London based uh, Jacoby Asset Management has listed Europe's first spot Bitcoin exchange traded fund ETF on Euronext Amsterdam nearly two years after it was first approved. The Jacoby FT Wilshire Bitcoin ETF is regulated by the Guernsey Financial Services Commission. Uh, I feel I just read all that. Okay, I read the bullet points. Okay, we'll keep going here. Um, custody for the fund is provided by Fidelity Digital Assets and trading firm Flow Traders operates as mar market maker Jacoby announced on Tuesday. Jacoby first won approval for the fund in October of 2021 with plans to list it in 2022. However, the firm opted to push back its plans due to inopportune circumstances elsewhere in the digital asset market, such as the collapse of the Terra ecosystem and the bankruptcy of the crypto exchange FTX. Yeah, that's the time where everything hit the fan and people were rushing out of the crypto market. So people were panicking at that time. Um, Exchange traded notes, ETNs, often referred to by the umbrella term exchange traded products, ETPs, are commonplace in Europe. However, Jacoby's offering is the first ETF. ETF shareholders own a portion of the product's underlying shares with the ETN investors, uh, or while the ETN investors own a debt security. Jacoby has said its ETF cannot be leveraged or used derivatives unlike ETNs. This listing means Europe will see a spot Bitcoin ETF traded before the U.S. despite dozens of applications to the SEC in the last few years, all of which were rejected. So um, that's wild news. It's wild news. And it's hard to believe that the U.S. is really letting down this market because, I mean, this could be something that they get ahead of and the SEC gets out there and gets this regulated. But they're actually just losing out to Europe. And, you know, that might be the best thing for the world, though, at this point. The, you know, the U.S. really letting everyone down is nothing new. And, um, you know, look at the economy right now. The U.S. economy is trash. Um, there's a lot of places worldwide, same issue going on. But it's good to see that there is a ETF for Bitcoin approved finally somewhere in the world so congrats to you amsterdam for taking the step to get that done and uh you know hope, hey sec maybe you guys will get on with it here and get something approved now so far uh this hasn't done much for the markets i looked just a few minutes ago nothing was really moving up today or it's still you know kind of bouncing back and forth just up and down slightly so we're still in that pattern we've been in for a while and uh, nothing ultimately new here. But I just wanted to let you guys know, I saw this story yesterday. I didn't get a chance to talk about it. But I think it's, you know, no matter what, I think any of this kind of adoption is good for the industry. It's good for crypto. It's good to see ETFs jump on board. It's good to see other countries get in front of this. You know, if the US isn't going to do it, it's good to see other people do it. So Hey, more power to everyone that jumps into an ETF. Hopefully, this can make the price of Bitcoin and the crypto market kind of go up in the near future. It could be a catalyst to help. I don't think it's going to be the ultimate you know, push here. But I do think you're going to see um, some movement and hopefully other countries take note and start jumping in. Maybe if this is a good thing and lots of investors make money and you'll find other countries that have other systems that want to get involved in this. So anyway, that's my take on it, guys. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm going to try to get more content out this week. I know it's been slow the last few days. I'm going to try to get more stuff for you guys. What is your take on this? Do you think this is a big deal, getting a spot Bitcoin ETF for Amsterdam uh, to be Europe's first spot Bitcoin ETF? Or do you think this isn't a big deal at all and it doesn't matter? Anyway, let me know in the comments below. Hope you guys are well, and I'll see you in the next video.